Hello everyone, welcome back to Laser Penguin Games. Today we're going to be taking a look at creating your second wildcard character in WoW Ascension and what the difference is, I guess, between that and making your first character, the advantages you're going to have uh, to make the character stronger. And uh, let's just start with uh, the dice. So re your regular start, you're going to just get Dice of Destiny, but um, as a second character, you're going to be able to buy... I mean, you can get it for your first character, too, if you want to um, buy it off the donation store uh, and pay for it. But if you wait, you can buy it for gold. And that's what I did, so I had it for my second character that way. And I'm going to go into my collections and get a few things that I have earned on my other character, my first character. And... Go here and I'm going to go known. And then what we're going to do is have this book delivered. I'm going to have mount. Okay, it won't let me ha get the mount until I get my writing. But as soon as I do, I have a free mount and I don't have to buy one. Uh, this is a, <laughs> a scroll. It teleports you to Booty Bay. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to go for the better dice here. And we can take the cub, I guess. Two. Can I keep them? And Mystic Altar, just because we want to. Take it all. And then I'm going to go grab a few other things, and I'll explain them all as... So, I can set myself some money to see if I can afford my writing to make things easier. I'm going to start with 16 slot bags. So we're going to go ahead and equip those. What else we have here as well? You start our second character and make it a lot easier. First I'm going to finish equipping these bags. And this is really nice, so I don't have to worry about bag space for really a very long time. My first character is a tailor as well, so <laughs> bags are not a problem. But we're going to start here with the dice. So, loaded starter dice and dice. So the regular dice is going to reroll all four abilities we have. You'll see here like the same as the, f the first character. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I want this character to be a warrior. Um, and what you can do is on top of this loaded dice, which I'm going to do in a second here, uh, you can send yourself one skill card uh, from your other character. These are account bound and you can find them as world drops or you can buy random stacks of five cards uh, and then just kind of you get what you get and then you can send guarantee basically one ability so this is whirlwind and it's going to guarantee this ability when it comes up so if we look at fury warrior this is a level 36 skill so when i turn level 36 i'm going to be guaranteed to unlock whirlwind but you can only use one card per character. So I'm going to go ahead and learn that. It will destroy the item. And then now I have Rend. So I'm, I'm going to try to make this also a whirlwind build. And looking at now that I know a bit more about the game, what you can do is before you start your build, you can go ahead and click the enchants tab here. And what I'm going to do is look for Mystic Enchants. So these can change your builds. So Whirlwind. So we're going to look at Whirlwind. Um, unfortunately, there is no legendary ability for this, but we know that this this epic purple here says for three seconds after using Charge ability, your Whirlwind ability will apply Rend to the target if known. So we we want to have Rend so that whatever we Whirlwind, we're going to just basically <laughs> rend everything as well um but you'll be able to look through whatever abilities you want you just you're going to look through them all and you'll see what you need to start for that build 
and then I'm going to be able to open up the sheet here because I have the loaded dice, which are these ones here. So this is going to let me reroll individual abilities now. So I'll be able to, so well, I have a rogue strike here, which I don't, I don't want as, as part of my build, but we'll leave it there for now. I'm going to say, I don't want arcane shot. I'm actually going to be looking for uh, battle stance charge for sure. So we can basically keep rerolling until we get the four skills. It could take a long time. So there's, <laughs> there's a lot of skills you can roll into. So even with the loaded dice, you could spend an hour, two hours at least, before you get the exact four skills you want. Um, you probably want to keep using the other dice until you see at least two. So at this point, I'd probably just want to be using Dice of Destiny until I see Rend. Okay, we got Raptor Strike, Blood Rage, and Stealth. But I want to see Rend in one of the other moves that I'm looking for. You're just going to keep rerolling until you get two, and then you're going to use the star dice to get the ones you want. And that'll be for pretty much locking you into that build. There are things we can start with now. So Book of Ascension is basically a pet that is going to let us... Here. So this is going to give us a book that's going to let us level our all our skills from every uh, class, well, it's, it's class as well, but every every tree, because uh, they're already free, so you have the book with you. You don't have to go visit any trainers ever again. You just have the book with you at all times, and other people can use it as well. Uh, the other important thing for starting a, a second character is that you can, you can get low-level items that have legendary abilities on them already. So this one is going to be raise dead which is going to give me an extra zombie pet for pretty much the entire game uh just giving me extra bonus damage as, as a benefit but you can look up your build and probably get the ability you want uh, and then you just get the trinket and put it on it and send it to your other character the last thing you really need to know about is the ore of experience and ex um, potions experience which you can use to just increase your leveling time immensely uh, you can also find someone else. So if anyone ha in your party has the aura, they will sh basically share it with you. So if your friend has it, you don't need to get it if, as long as you're leveling together or you have a whole group. But if you're leveling alone, you're going to want it for yourself. Uh, if you can afford it, obviously. And then we got the Mystic Enchanting Halter, which is just another quality of life thing I'll have for later. Um, just like already having the mouse and everything else. It's just nice to have everything ready to go and if i want to just level up now <laughs> i don't have to worry i can just just roll my skills and i'm gonna level super quick and not have to visit town very often at all only really for professions although there is a book there's a second book you can get that uh will train your professions i just do not have that one yet so you can almost have enough stuff to never really have to go back to town much at all All right, so once you're done rolling and you have the abilities you want, which, again, like I said, could take hours, um, the last thing you're going to want to do is and check if you use your skill card yet, because once you level up to two, uh, you will no longer be able to use skill cards. What I'm going to do is lock in my build here by killing a mob. go two and now skills can no longer be changed or add any skill cards but last thing you can look into is talking to um <laughs> stony tark here and he's going to give you the options for i guess these extra challenges if you think you're up for them which is iron man mode Rivalist mode, resolute mode, and nightmare mode, and some of these will give you extra bonuses for for doing these. I don't know, a lot of them are mounts or or extra books, or whatever, whatever you can get for them. You, you can look into. I'm not gonna go through all the rewards for this, but 
Uh, definitely, if you're looking for something even more challenging while you're leveling, uh, Iron Man mode is you can't die. And Nightmare mode, I know, is takes 300% more physical damage and 500% more magical damage. And you can only party up with other people in Nightmare mode. Um, or two. <laughs> I'm not sure. But I think that's pretty much everything. So if you have any questions or comments, I'll also leave them below if, it, if I maybe forgot something. And uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Hello everyone who made it to the end of the video. This is Laser Pen Games, reminding you to smash that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps out. And if you're looking for even more content, check out my Patreon here, where I post exclusive video content every month, and you'll have access to all of that.